Hi, it's Imanago. So I'm doing this makeup look today. It's kind of a bronzy, brownie, neutral, smoky eye. And I'm using Catrice Absolute Nude Eyeshadow Palette for this tutorial. So the palette looks like this. And the eyeshadows looks like this. I'm using every single color on my eyes today. And other than that, I'm also using only um, affordable products. So yeah, I just really felt like playing with this palette today. And I really like how this look turned out. Um, I'm also using, of course, my Catrice primer and my Catrice uh, powder. And you guys know I love my Catrice primer. And I also really love um, the powder. And I also really like this eyeshadow palette. Um, the colors are very beautiful and they blend so easily together. But you have to be aware of the fallout. Um, you can get some fallout with these colors. So definitely make sure you are tapping off your brushes. But the colors are so seriously pigmented. You only need such a small amount. And yeah, I just think this palette is gorgeous. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. So yeah, don't forget to watch this video in high definition. It makes everything much better. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And yeah, I think that's it. So here comes the tutorial. Okay, so I'm of course going to start out with my Catrice primer. Today I'm using the Prime and Fine Anti-Red Base. So it looks like this. It's very green. So I apply this all over. So for foundation, I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte in the color Ivory. And the green primer does kind of leave, um, you know, a green cast on your face. So I always like to use a more full coverage foundation when I wear this primer. Just to make sure I don't look, you know, green. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Makeup Witch and spray it with water. This is a spray bottle from Born Pretty Store. And then I use dabbing motions to blend out my foundation. I just find that this gives the most um, full coverage. So I'm going to apply some more foundation on my acne and acne scars. Just because I like full coverage. So to correct my under eye darkness, I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the color no um, Neutralizer. <laughs> so I just apply this right on the dark parts of my under eye. And I just blend it out with the same sponge. And then for my concealer, I'm going to use my Born Pretty Store Concealer in the color O2. And I'm going to use this to highlight. So of course I highlight underneath my eyes. And I highlight my forehead. And I highlight down my nose. Cupid's bow. And chin. So I go ahead and spray my sponge. Again. Just to make sure that it is still damp. And then I go ahead and blend this out. So for a powder, I'm of course going to use my Catrice um, Prime and Fine Translucent Mattifying Waterproof Powder. And I'm going to use this powder all over, including underneath my eyes. So I start out with my big Kabuki brush from Ninja to set the face. And then I use my powder brush from Born Pretty Store to get underneath my eyes. And this powder is super fine, so it really keeps my concealer from creasing. So to contour, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Pressed Powder in the color Honey. And I'm going to use my two e.l.f. brushes that I always use to contour. So I contour my nose. Okay, so fun fact. I film on my iPhone. And I always have my charger in my iPhone while I film, just to make sure it's always charged. So of course my iPhone fell down and my charger broke, 
while I was doing my cheek contour. So I had to head out the door and get a new charger. So if the lighting is different, it's because I literally have been gone for an hour. But I'm back now to continue the tutorial. So I'm going to continue with my e.l.f. powder to um, contour my forehead and my jaw. And then I go in and blend it out. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Studio Blush. This is in the color Candid Coral. And I'm just applying this right here on the apple. So for eyebrows, I'm going to use my Rimmel um, Eyebrow Pencil in the color Hazel. So then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, clear brow gel. So I'm just running this through my eyebrow hairs just to keep them in place. So for my primer, I'm going to use e.l.f.'s um, Essentials Eyelid Primer in the color Champagne. So I'm just applying a little bit of that on each um, eyelid. And this color is slightly darker than the original e.l.f. Essentials Eyelid Primer and it also has a little bit of shimmer. So now we're moving on to the, um, you know, the thing that this tutorial is all about, which is the Catrice Absolute Nude Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm going to apply this color all over the eyelid. So I just pack that on with a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to take this color in the crease. So I'm just using that right above the other eyeshadow. And these eyeshadows are pretty powdery. So you definitely want to tap off your brush after you dip your brush in the eyeshadow just so you don't get, you know, a lot of fallout. But they're also super pigmented, so you don't need a lot. So I'm going to use this color now, and I'm going to apply this right between the lid color and the crease color. So I'm just applying it a bit lower in the crease, and I'm taking it all the way from the outer corner into the inner corner. So now I'm taking this darkest color and I'm going to start applying this in the outer corner. And I'm also going to apply it right here in the inner corner. And I'm blending a little bit into the crease but not all the way. So the same with the other eye, I start in the outer corner. And then I apply a little bit in the inner corner. So then I'm going to take the lightest color and this is going to be the brow bone highlight. And I just blend a little bit more. And I also use this color right around the tear duct. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, um, this color right here. And I'm going to spray my brush with water. And I'm just applying this right in the center of my eyelid. Just to um, highlight. And I go back in and blend a little bit. So it's just very smoky and blown out. So now I go back in to the first eyeshadow we used. And I'm applying this in the middle of my lower last line. And then I take the darkest color again. And I start in the outer corner and just blend that out. And then I also take it in the inner part. And I do the same with the other eye.
So I just use my powder brush to flick away any fallout. So then I'm going to take my Black Radiance uh, Brown Coal Eyeliner. And this is going on the waterline. So for my upper last line, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Essentials liquid eyeliner in black. It would be even better if you had a brown liquid eyeliner, but I don't. So I'm going to use my black one. So I did a pretty thin cat eyeliner, so now I'm going to do mascara primer. I'm going to use my e.l.f. mascara primer, but first I'm going to use Shuimura's eyelash curler. And then I'm just applying a little bit of this primer. We are going to be wearing falsies, I just felt like playing with this primer today. And I'm also going to apply it to the bottom lashes. So for my mascara today, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Essentials Waterproof Mascara. And I'm just going to apply a single coat of this. And of course you could just do mascara, but... I like falsies. So with my mascara on, I'm of course going to do my falsies next. So I'm going to use these ones up here. I got these ones from um, a Lady Gaga like perfume gift set. But they look like this. So I'm going back with my liquid eyeliner to hide the eyelash glue. So once I'm done with that, the eyes are actually done. So I'm going to do my lips. So I'm going to use my Jordana Easy Liner for lips in the color Rock and Rose. And I'm going to use this to outline my lips and fill in the corners. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Mineral Lipstick. This is in the color Party Pink. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, Luscious Liquid Lipstick in the color Baby Lips right on top of my lipstick. So just here in the center. So I just took my hair down and put on my headpiece and this is the finished look. So thank you guys so much for watching my Catrice Absolute Nude eyeshadow palette tutorial. I really hope you guys um, liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye!